Howdy Food Reviews here. White Castle Cheeseburger Castle Bites. And I'm also going to dip them in Chick-fil-A sauce. So two restaurants. These products are actually not from the actual restaurants. These are from Dollar Tree and these are from Price Chopper. You can also get the uh, sauce at uh, Walmart as well and other places as well. Anyway, so you no longer have to just get Chick-fil-A sauce at Chick-fil-A. You get it at grocery stores. You can get White Castle products at Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, maybe Walmart. I'm not too sure. I always see the products at uh, at uh, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, or Dollar General. But anyway, so this is the closest thing that here in the Northeast that we got to White Castle, basically. At least in northern New York. We don't got any White Castle actual restaurants around here, but we do got the White Castle food items at the uh at the supermarkets and dollar tree dollar stores so this is white castle cheeseburger castle bites and according to the dollar tree employees these are actually really good they said these are made with 100 percent beef real american cheese and onions wrapped in a delicious golden crust so this is uh their version of the uh tostinos i guess or something i don't know Made with 100% beef. I'm not a big fan of White Castle, like the the hamburger uh, sliders, because they're just, I don't know, they don't taste as good as other hamburgers. But anyway, uh, let's uh, try these. So let's see what the nutritional facts on both of these products are before we uh, eat these uh, products here. Nutrition facts, calories 160 for the Chick-fil-A sauce. And then... Uh, the uh, White Castle calories 220, and that's all the nutritional facts on the back. If you want to pause the screen, I'm not gonna read it all. But anyway, like I said, this is the closest thing that I believe what we get here in the Northeast. I don't know if there's any White Castle actual restaurants. Maybe there might be some Pennsylvania or maybe in New Jersey or something. But I think that this is the closest thing we got to White Castle up here. Which, to be honest, from what I from what I tasted from the White Castle sliders, they're not as good as other burgers that I've tried before. But let's try these. These might be better than the White Castle sliders. I don't know. They might just taste the same. But according to the Dollar Tree employees, these are actually pretty good. So let's uh, try these. All right. So these are prepping hot. So I'm going to let these sit for a couple minutes. Let them cool down. Got the Chick-fil-A sauce here. A little bit. I put a little bit. I'm trying to cut back on all the sauces. So I just put a little bit. If you say that's a little bit. That's a little bit. A little bit of sauce. Alright, I guess I don't need those sunglasses anymore. But anyway, let's uh, try these. So like I said, these kind of look like um, Tostinos. Totinos, whatever you call them. I always call them to Tostinos, but they're actually called toti, whatever Totinos. They're actually a little bit better than the um, a little bit better than the um, than the sliders, to be honest. Maybe the reason why I don't like the sliders is because they have too much of an onion taste. But these actually don't have that much of an onion taste to them. I'm not a big fan of onions. So maybe that's the reason why I don't like the sliders from uh, White Castle. Although they could be totally different from the Axel sliders at White Castle. Because, you know, frozen food can be totally different from what an Axel restaurant is serving up. So, you know, but pretty sure that they probably taste the same. But I've never personally been to White Castle. I've always got the White Castle food at like dollar stores or Walmart or something. Anyway, these are actually pretty good. They're not better than Tostinos or anything or Totinos or whatever you call them. I always call them, like I said, I always call them Tostinos. But they're not better than those, but they're still pretty good. These are actually pretty good. The breading is really good too. It's kind of like a buttery breading to be honest. So I would give these on a scale rating of 1 to 10, probably a 7 out of 10. So peace.